In this video, we're going to talk about the many lies that people will tell you about refrigerant. Many HVAC companies don't utilize the power of artificial intelligence, or know that they can. If you're like me, you may harbor a small and unfounded fear of AI thanks to The Terminator and The Matrix. Free to Grow is a service that finds AI voice solutions for home service companies. AI can answer the phone overnight or during high volume situations, all while learning how to be better with each call. This means more satisfied customers, less employee turnover, and a higher earning potential. AI is here now. Go to free-to-grow.com or visit the description of this video to learn more about how this service can help your HVAC company. The first lie in the most egregious is the fact that they will tell you that you can't recharge systems that use R22 refrigerant. And that is a lie. You can recharge systems that use R22 refrigerant. It's hard to come by, and you can't get new systems that have R22 refrigerant in them, but you can definitely still recharge those systems. A lot of times companies will tell people they can't recharge their systems, and that is a sales technique I like to call lying. So they use that sales technique, lying, in order to sell a new system. Now you could also say, in a truthful way, that that is an outdated refrigerant, it depletes ozone layer, there's lots of things you can say to try to sell somebody a new system, but to say that you can't put that refrigerant into their system still, that is a lie. The next one is a use of language. Use of language to convey meaning has been around since the dawn of time, and we're not going to get into all that. You know, we can go watch some George Carlin videos and we can see an excellent use of language, but the word drop-in, drop-in refrigerant, that was coined at some time ago. You have your R422Ds and Bs, you have your R407Cs, and a lot of times people would refer to those refrigerants as drop-in replacements for R22. And drop-in is somewhat of an ambiguous term, and you would assume that you could just put it in there no matter what the situation is. Now, first of all, you cannot mix refrigerants because just for the practical standpoint of if you mix two different refrigerants together, you no longer have a saturation number that you can trust because you have a mix that is not charted and your gauges won't have that particular refrigerant because you're creating a new refrigerant, basically, a mix of maybe R22 and R422D or R22 and R407C, and you won't know the exact point at which you have your saturation points. You can't because you don't know what the mixture is and you don't know what percentage of each is in the system. So there's no way of knowing. So you can't just drop one on top of the other because it's just illegal. It's illegal too. So if that helps, it's also illegal. And it's not as if it's easy enough to just take one out and put the other one in. Now, you're doing the right thing now. You're taking your R22 out, you're going to put your replacement refrigerant in. But if it's a refrigerant like 407C, you cannot use it with mineral oil. I'm not going to go into my method of replacing R22 with 407C, but in the most basic terms, 407C needs a different oil than R22. So you can't just take R22 out and put R407C in. So in that way, it's not a drop-in in any way, shape, or form. Other refrigerants are built to go directly after R22 if you have a mineral oil system. A lot of them use hydrocarbons to help bring back that mineral oil. You'll see in a lot of different refrigerants, like MO99, for example, you'll see a very small amount of hydrocarbon that keeps the threshold below that flammable or lightly flammable level, but still allows for some oil return. You'll notice that there's something like isobutane in your refrigerant. That's one example that will aid in oil return. But as time goes by, this becomes less of a factor because you don't replace R22 anymore. There's more 410A systems out there than 22. And R22 systems will become a distant memory before too long. And one of my favorite, favorite misnomers is that you can replace R22 with R290. R290 is propane. Propane is very, very flammable. As anyone who's flipped a burger on a grill knows, propane can easily become fire. And fire is bad, especially if it's inside of a refrigerant circuit. Now, there are very, very murky lines that people will draw whenever they're advertising for R290. They will call it something that's very similar to R22. If you go onto eBay or Amazon, I think it's mainly eBay, but you guys can help me out there. 
you will see things that are called 22 and then they'll add a little bit of stuff to it and then that will be R290. You cannot put R290 into an R22 system. It is not designed for a flammable refrigerant. If you do that, you run the risk of killing your whole family. So let me repeat that. If you try that, you could kill your whole family. And you don't want to do that because families dislike that intensely to be killed because you made a dumb decision because you bought R22, which is not R22 on the internet. There's a lot of scams like that. If you buy stuff from out of the country or that was manufactured overseas, they will try to pull the wool over your eyes. That is one of the main reason why you try to get your local HVAC tech to service your unit unless you are a former HVAC tech. You need to have the knowledge to know what is good and what is bad and what you can and cannot do. Because what you cannot do, you shouldn't do because it can be harmful to you health-wise and definitely harmful to the charging of your system because if you add this stuff, you won't know how to charge the system because you can't, because you don't know what it is, you don't know what the mixture becomes. So that's just a few tips right there. I hope you guys get a lot out of that. The new guys are like, what's R22, dude? What's R22? We don't use that anymore. Is it not illegal? No, new guy. No, it's not illegal. It's not illegal. Your boss lied to you. All right, I love you guys, each and every one of you, even the ones that I don't love. And I will see you guys on the next one, and God bless all of you. Save 10% off Vito Pro Packs for a limited time at jacksonsystems.com using the Save10 Vito ST promo code.